Hello everybody, welcome to the BBSL final. It is myself versus Purple Chest. Um, we've got identical teams, I don't even need to show them both. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that's what it is. There's uh, there's guard blitzers, there's a couple of guards, a uh, long beard and a mighty blow long beard. Uh, there's a block runner and there's a rookie runner. Um, yeah, we've got a slightly different order of players. That's what we've got on the teams. Brilliant. <laughs> slightly different order in the, on, on the teams. Um, in the booth, we've got Skurumeto and Carl Seaman to take you through it while I try hard because obviously I desperately want to beat PC because he's... No, he's lovely. I can't say anything bad about him to hype it up. He is, he's a wonderful fella. He's great with dwarves, so it's going to be a tough match. Cheers! Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to the BBSL finals it's dwarf on dwarf action you know no one would have signed up to watch this but that's what we got we've got one minute turn so this should fly by with a big old scrum in the middle and uh maybe we'll see some two die blocks calcium kaz in the booth with me how you doing calcium i'm getting older by the minute but thank god this game is only one minute turns so i may be alive <laughs> at the end of it because normally with dwarf mirror you watch your life tick by but, you know, obviously with minute turns, shenanigans can happen, mistakes can be made. We may get an exciting game instead of the usual dwarf grind bullshit. Absolutely. Dwarves are, are, you know, dwarves get a bad rap when you got a good coach playing them. It's a lot of fun. When you got two good coaches playing them, though, it's a little sticky because, you know, neither of these guys are going to make mistakes unless that timer has something to say about it. And uh, that's going to mean that some dice are really going to need to come into play to swing this, uh, you know, away from basically kicks. We'll see how it plays out. I will say, having watched a fair few BBSL games now, I, I picked Purple Chest to win this one. I think he's a little bit more comfortable with dwarves than Jim is. And we all know Jim, you know, looked to Purple Chest for this dwarf build. We've, you know, that's been a story for weeks now. But I have seen Purple Chest screw up more turns in big games on the one-minute timers than I have seen of Jim uh, in the last couple weeks. We'll see if that does come into play. Calcium, what does Jim got to do to win this game over Purple Chest? Uh, yeah, that's a difficult one. Do you know what? I think you are absolutely right. This is going to be very reliant on dice. Um, I do think over the course of the season, Jim has played as well, if not slightly better than PC. I've watched, you know, obviously, like yourself, I've watched with great interest. And I had a much easier time playing PC with my humans than I did Jim. That being said, you know, um, I also think the minute turns favours Jim. Jim is a fast player. He's a fast thinker. Um, PC is a lot more comfortable with two, three minute turns. But as I said to Jim before the start of the game, PC is no blood bowl mortal. You know, he is <laughs> among the best players in the game. So, you know, even with minute turns, he's still going to ruin your day. Absolutely. Hard to argue against anything there. Oh, look at that. Armor break right off the back. I don't even know <laughs> what team. Okay, that was PC throwing blocks. <laughs> okay, yeah, so Jim's PC breathing a sigh of relief right there. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Another armor break. Two guys staying on the pitch, though. That's still slightly better than, uh, you know, no no turns with 11 men. Yeah. But he doesn't go three for three on the armor breaks. And, yeah, uh, you know, a viable strategy in these one-minute games is to rush through your turn Catch the other guy off guard. Get him that, you know, if you can play quick, you can put the other guy on his heels a little bit and having to plan out his turns. And I think that does favor Jim just a little bit there. Although PC, of course, does have more success in Blitz Pit tournaments than Jim does. So, you know, this is a crapshoot. <laughs> we can talk about it, it all is. day long. It is. I think yeah. we just got to watch those dice fly and see where it's going. Right now, looking okay for PC, breaking two dwarf armors. Uh, yeah, breaking the armor of two dwarves right off the bat here. Yeah, I mean, it's a really important point that you've just said. You know, when you're under no pressure, playing a minute turn is easy. When you're under a bit bit of pressure, whether the dice are turning against you or you know whether your men down, then it becomes difficult. Now, in the past, Jim's head does drop. You know, Jim is well documented as to letting sure. his head drop a little bit when things don't go his way. I think he's improved massively in that regard recently. Um, mainly by not playing CCL. <laughs> but, yeah, I, so it'll be interesting to see if one of these coaches... Um, so, you know, if PC has a couple more turns like this, for instance, and Jim can't keep his shape, it'll be interesting to see how he copes with it. 
Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like Spain just scored a cracking goal. Spain up over Croatia in OT of the Euro 2020. But we're not here for soccer. We are here for some Blood Bowl action BBSL. Jim looking to just keep a solid um, central base here with his defense. Not a lot to do when you got two stuns. Yeah, a little bit unlucky that he didn't um, pow the Troll Slayer. That being said, um, that LOS lockup on the... Uh, uh, actually, I should switch my view. Uh, that LOS lockup on the right-hand side, you know, Jim's got the guard. PC hasn't, so that heavily favours Jim right now. Um, yeah, Jim's Jim's not in a bad spot here. What PC can't do right now is push down the left because he'll essentially be splitting his team in half. And I think PC is way too experienced <laughs> to do any mid-tier bash nonsense like that. <laughs> well, well, looks like he's moving right down. That okay, left or, side. or not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, as you said, and he moved this towards yeah. the position. We'll see. I agree. I doubt he's going to commit the ball straight down that. Well, maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm starting to think that's exactly what he's doing. He, he maybe he just wants to meet him on on one side, I guess. Yeah. So obviously, PC channeling is in a Mr. Page right now, you know, and thinking, yeah, bollocks, <laughs> let's just go for it. <laughs> It's a PC is a very firm believer. One of the things PC says often, though, is that you've got to take the space given to you with dwarves. So, you know, when he does have a chance to get four squares into uh, enemy territory, he's going to take it. And uh, Jim may be playing, playing him a little bit there and letting him do that. Uh, it's early enough that PC can always change his mind a little bit. But, yeah, Jim would do well to split this team up right now. Yeah, this, this has made this early part of the game really interesting, hasn't it? Um, how Jim mm -hmm. responds to this now is key, so it would help a great deal if Jim could actually roll a pal right now. I, I think that would help massively. <laughs> <laughs> Did he run out of time there, Jim? It looked like he had activated everyone. Missed that, didn't we? I, I... Is he going to chain him back a square here? Doesn't yeah. really accomplish a whole lot, but it keeps him nice and firm on that left side. Again, with the pushes. No, he's not. Uh, minimizes hits, doesn't it? So, um, chaining them off. Yeah. Um, or, or not. <laughs> not chaining them off. <laughs> well, hey. we're batting about zero right now, Calcium. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. What do we know? <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I, you know, it's a, it, it's a final. I, I know it's your, what your excuse is. I don't have one myself, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the only one I'll do. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, so Jim's decided to um, base the ball. So GG. I, I don't. I don't hate the base. Would have been some. Yeah, would have been something for uh, for a two. You know, a, or well, not a two. A three or four turn offense by PC. Just turn this thing into a shootout. Yeah. But right now, I think oh, Spain, Jim. Yeah, I Spain think. Scored again. Bloody hell. I think Jim's got a man advantage on this left-hand side now, isn't he? Because PC has five players isolated here uh, against Jim's he four. Does have one, he does have one free, though. Oh, Jim, yeah. Matt, Jim just remembering. this That screwed him in his last game, too. He missed out on something. Jim's going to take a bunch of hits here. How rowdy does PC want to be? He could chain that uh, that long beard up. No, he's not going to do it. I was going to say chain that long beard up, get even more hits out of this whole thing, but yeah, that would have put him in surf territory. Yeah, that's right. You don't really want to be there against the Troll Slayer, but you are hitting that Troll Slayer. So I would have quite liked exactly. that play, to be honest. But PC he thought about third... it. He definitely thought about it, but I think... Yeah. Third break of the game? Yep. Armour 9 is alive. Yeah, that's right. Jim can feel a bit aggrieved with the armour breaks, but also lucky the fact that they've all been stunts. You know, it keeps Jim in this drive. So far, every block PC has made has been a knockdown. <laughs> every block I've made has been a 1 in 9 or a push. <laughs> so why why did you even hire us for this, Jim? This is exactly what we've been saying for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, Skuro, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Jim isn't phased by the fact that he hasn't rolled a pal yet at all. I'm, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that, you know? I think you and I have different definitions of the word phased. Absolute comedy bloody mega dice in this one. I can't believe it. Oh, 
PC might be stranding two long beards here. But he is getting back central. And he did get a lot of hits out of that. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Apo. And in boom. comes the Apo. Yeah. That was never a doubt for an Apo in that one. Can't lose a guard against this dwarf team. No, no. Although the way PC's team is hitting right now, <laughs> it might <laughs> it might not pay off, Cotton. <laughs> Where's this long beard going? What's he do? Oh, he's trying yeah. to... I think he was trying to wrap around there and kind of keep those four maybe a little locked into place, but really he just kind of <laughs> set a long beard down to be forgotten about for two <laughs> turns. The classic long beard canoring threat. Now Jim's got three fleet, three free dwarves can get back central and keep this fight going. It's gonna be tough now, isn't it? Um, we're, <laughs> we've yeah, we've two stunned dwarves and a removed <laughs> dwarf. <laughs> it's so yeah, tough and now. also those two, those two. Those two long beards on the floor right in the middle can't really even do anything if they stand up. They're just going to get yep. hit right back down. Probably Jim's just going to leave them. Yeah. Um, so Jim's just going to stand them up and hope that PC stops rolling non-stop string of pals and fives and sixes. So, but... Uh, he's going to dodge one off and probably leave the other one. Yeah. Well, his armor didn't break. I was kind of awaiting that. <laughs> Jim's decided to bring his D3 to his D6 fight. <laughs> oh, with the GG. Oh, Kelsey, no. Kelsey, I know you're watching Plant. Jim just dropped the early GG. All yeah, right. no, I've got his stream on in the background. I'm watching in real time, but i got his stream on the background. That's, um, yeah, that's some next level psychology That's a frustration right mistake. No, that's too early. That's too early for GG equity. You know, good GG in the first half has got to be turn six, maybe turn seven. Can't be on turn four. Turn four is not – he just – I really feel like he squandered a GG there. Yeah. Well, we actually saw something in the semifinal, didn't we? We saw a rescinded GG or a GG return, which is unheard of in Blood Bowl. That is true. Um, mm -hmm. So PC I may don't be think we're going to get another one of those. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> classic i don't know about classic bezel maybe 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 you subscribe to a different uh a different strategy of the gg equity than i do but seems early to me the double rescinded gg tony's calling it now why did we put bets in on a winner when we could bet on how the ggs got played yeah oh. such a massive part of blood bowl Wow. <laughs> okay, fair, fair enough. Be Bezel's an originalist, I see. <laughs> well, you know, you know, a dwarf mirror is going to bring out uh, the best in the commentary in the chat, and here you go. We've got to try and talk about something, haven't we? Holy shit. Um, so PC here, um, <laughs> absolutely. So he's he's exploited the fact that um, Jim was essentially three players down for this turn. Um, he's cut Jim's team off. Um, I, you know, it's looking like a score for uh, for PC now. <laughs> Sicilian <laughs> GG. <laughs> the Jim Gambit. <laughs> St. Peter's uh, well done, everyone. We we did it. We all did it together on that one. Jim's chat delivers. <laughs> yeah, Jim's what's commonly known as screwed right now. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he's he's going with the punching bag defense where it's like his really his best option is to stand up and hope for double skulls. Yeah. And uh, that's all he can really do. I still haven't knocked anybody over. I not knocked one down when I was trying for a surf. <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> it's another massive oh, push boy. from the fantastic one himself.
So I think I'm correct in saying that's Jim's second pal of the game. Uh, that sounds accurate. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, there's a... Oh, no, yeah, because that dwarf over on the left there uh, failed to dodge, didn't he? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, PC's put more of his own dwarves on the ground because he failed to GFI, <laughs> too. <laughs> oh, dear. God bless Blood Well, Bowl, again, man. one minute turns. This game can cruise by. You know, some sometimes, you know, you just got to take it on the chin, go into the second half, level it up, and win in overtime. Yeah. There's nothing to say at this stage that Jim can't just go <laughs> right back into it, you know, win his drive, lose, you know, lose, lose PC's drive and then uh, see what happens in overtime. But this is where the mental game comes in, and I'm, honestly, if I had to pick a coach for the, uh, the, mental, the mental stability and emotional, uh, um, emotional Blood Bowl game, I'm going to pick PC every time. Oh, absolutely, w without question. You know, um, that's the no-brainer. PC, um, you know, is on record and well-documented to have a really level head at all times. You know, he understands that this is just a game, whereas for Jim, it's literally life and death. And Jim really can't handle the swings. I think that is a Five fair statement. It might and be a tough field as well. Versus two knockdowns. <laughs> as I said, can't handle the swings. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> T man. <laughs> Accurate. The really, Jimmy's what's going to happen is this game is just a. This game is just awaiting that first uh, Kaz that sticks, you know? Yeah, Jim's already yeah. down his Apo. PC has his. Whichever dwarf goes off the pitch first, if it's one of those guard dwarfs, that's <laughs> when I would get ready to toss that GG out there. Yeah. The good news for Jim right now is it can't get any worse. I get, actually, if his team dies in the next couple of turns, it probably could, couldn't it? So, um, <laughs> without, without one of the commentators yeah. curse him. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's usually me. It's usually me dropping the, the actual uh, curse. And, and uh, like I said, I kept it neutral for that. First dwarf that's staying off the pitch permanently, that's your, uh, that's your GG moment in my, yeah, in yeah. my book. So Jim actually manages a stun on the most valuable player on PC's drive right now, with having zero effect on the drive. <laughs> but a stun. I mean, a stun. it's a little tough. It's a little tough. It's a little tough, Milkman, because, yeah, I mean, at the start of the game, you know, Jim playing solid defense can absolutely keep PC. You know, the, the thing about Dwarves is if they're up against the stout defense that doesn't give them a lot of room, they might not score, and they have to deal with that. So, yeah, you know, I can understand the frustration after turn four of having lost the drive. Like, Jim has lost the drive now. PC's definitely going to eight turns to score. But in those first couple turns, he certainly has a chance to stop him on defense. Yeah. Maybe not turn him over, but certainly stop him. So, yeah, I, I, I can understand where he's coming from on that. But, yes, you are right. If things don't go drastically downhill for Jim, he just does the exact same thing to PC in the second half, and we're looking at a coin toss. Yeah. Jim's defense was really solid. You know, it's his dice that have been crap. His, his defense was solid. PC decided to push down the left, which I, I thought was slightly ill-advised, you know. But um, as people have rightly pointed out, PC likes to exploit gaps. And PC had to recenter his runner. And then, you know, Jim had a horrible turn that allowed PC to do what he wanted. Um, so, you know, the dice have been... Hey, the dice are always instrumental in a game of Blood Bowl, but even more so. You know, that's the only thing that's separating these two right now. And... Jim needs to take a lot of comfort, All right, and his Apo's burnt, but he can take a lot of comfort in the fact that, to date, <laughs> none, of his, none of his players are removed. You know, he can do something in the second half. So we're looking at a coin toss, really, aren't we? Yeah. Unless, you know, uh, that, that's subject to Jim actually being able to roll a pal, yeah. the dickhead. Yeah, I mean, this is where it can get a little dangerous for Jim, though, too. And maybe not. I guess it can get dangerous either way. PC doesn't really have to defend that ball very heavily because Jim's really not going to be able to get to it. So PC can kind of square off and just keep these dwarves all peeled around the field and uh, tee off on them a bit, get a couple <laughs> of really good hits in, and uh, up yeah. his chances at that. But uh, Jim, you know, Jim would be wise to just keep the heavy pressure on, not come, you know, like there's always that temptation to give up on the drive. Um, when it's clearly over. 
but I think he'd be better just kind of pushing in there, make PC think more about protecting the ball than uh, setting up really good hits. I think Which it looks like late. he's kind of... Yeah, yeah, I think it's too late for that now. Um, the problem is Jim's standing players up. PC's on top here, you know. Um, yeah. I, I don't oh, know yeah, certainly, like, certainly. I don't know if I even like the follow-ups right now. So he followed um, He followed up with his mighty blow long beard. I, I don't know if I love that. You're just giving hits up on players right now. I probably wouldn't be following up. I'd be minimizing the amount of hits because the, the drive's done. Forget the drive, you know. Yeah, if you can manage to chip one of PC's dwarfs, then brilliant. But do you want to get into a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight with somebody that's had the kind of first half that PC's had? Probably not. Jim, once God, again, Jim rolling like, a Jim's, bag full of spanners. Jim's blocking. <laughs> unbelievable. Absolutely so unbelievable. You hate, you hate to drop the, you know, you hate to drop the dice, the dice whinging. But uh, this has yeah. been pretty, I mean, that's been the difference in uh, offense and defense on this half, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, without a doubt. And, you know, Jim, as I said earlier, Jim's brought a D3 to a D6 fight. Um, it's just horrible. Yeah, Volcajo, absolutely. Yeah, if this was Jim's, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, if yep. this was Jim's offense, then it would be, well, it'd be game over. Uh, it's as simple as that. You roll this kind of dice on your offense, then you ain't, you're, you're not scoring. You know, both Jim and PC would stop you easily. Um, so Jim can reset the second half. You know, he knows what he has to do. How much did you lump on PC again, Screw? <laughs> uh, 50,000 <laughs> 50, channel points. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had like 80,000 of them. There's nothing else for me to spend them on. So, <laughs> I keep forgetting well. about them. I got 203,000 points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I was up there for a while, and I and I did a similar bet in the JFW at one point. <laughs> oh, no, I know what it was. Yeah, and then I, I, I used to... I used to slip in uh, match fixing bets in the JFW when I had pre recorded and edited the matches and knew the <laughs> results. Amazing. <sighs> <laughs> Vault. Two just times well, ever. Two yeah. times ever. Just as well I'm not a moderator right now, Vault. I tell you. <laughs> Making me a moderator anyway is probably a really bad idea, to be fair. <laughs> it's something I've never chased in my Blood Bowl career. Could make that a chance. No one, no one wants to see that. All right, well, uh, I'm looking forward to Jim's, uh, you know, one-minute dwarf uh, one-turn attempt next. Uh, that'll be our, our next big moment of the game. He actually did have a pretty good setup for it in his last game. Obviously didn't happen, uh, but had to, you know, put himself in the chance to do it. It's always kind of fun to watch. That's how legends are made. If you one-turn with dwarves in this format, instant legend. Yep. Obviously, doing it with Wood Elves in turn seven because you mistook turn seven for turn eight is pretty cool as well. Just saying. <laughs> oh, that was yeah. funny. I was busy patting myself on the back saying, hang on a minute, why is it in the second half? <laughs> so good. Yeah, Jim's six turn one turn is uh was a pretty good lesson in how to one turn. And here we go. Jim uh I mean Jim's definitely gonna try it. He's got everyone back, he's still got a full team, so there you go. I mean, he goes into the second half he goes into the second half with as good a chance as anyone to uh to go to go uh push it to overtime one one. I'm slightly surprised with that setup by PC. Uh, that might have been laziness. He might have just, yeah. he might have, or, or he might have calciumed it and thought it was the second half. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, or, you know, maybe he's just showing some disrespect, BMing Jim right now, going, you can't one turn for shit, mate. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, you know, as much as I want to, you know, as much as, you know, we all want to see it, I guess it almost makes more sense for Jim to just guarantee his hits, but he'll get those yeah. anyway, even if he fails the one turn. So it's it's worth trying. Looks like he's thinking about surfing. Yeah, he's not he's not going for it here, is he? So yeah, it looks like he's setting up for no, the surf. No, he's not thinking about surfing. What does he do? He was uh, he was looking for yeah, he was just looking for the riot. <laughs> the push fest continues. See, I don't know why Jim wouldn't want to try the one turn. All he's been rolling is pushes. Yeah. I Super tough. That's a lot easier than when you know every roll you're going to make is a push. Well, <laughs> or double Yeah. Block. He's had a fair few of those. <laughs> he's had a, he has had a bunch of them as oh well. My God. Oh, my God. This is pretty comical at this stage. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Jim does have a bench. He can think about a foul here. <clears throat> the 3Ds gets him the uh, gets him the down. Now he's not gonna foul. Your armor breaks this turn. Calm down, Jim. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> here you go. Here's the big one. AV8. PC loves getting his slayer hit. To no Jim, avail, and that Jim is the end of the first half. Yeah, should have probably hit the troll slayer with mighty blow there, you know. But uh, did he put the mighty blow? No, he didn't put the mighty blow into a garter. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good call. All right, and here we go. Jim uh, needs to be aware of the things that can lose in the game. A blitz, a perfect D right now can really, uh, really rough him up. Can't really protect against the perfect D so much. You can set up to protect against the blitz, though. A perfect D would be really interesting. Uh, um, bear, bearing in mind yeah, these actually, teams perfect are identical. Probably worth yeah. Normally, you're right. Probably actually worse than a blitz. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. Just with dwarves. Yeah. yeah. Normally, it, playing against anyone else, a perfect D, if you're dwarves, is amazing. In this situation, <laughs> given the way these teams literally mirror each other, I don't think a perfect D is yeah. amazing. Hey, I'd, I'd, I'd take it right now. You know, blitz would be glorious for PC. Um... <laughs> Jim, uh, Jim has a, uh, a uh, perfect. He's kind of a trigger word for Jim, though. Like that will, that will start his offense in a mood that he won't be happy with, even yeah. if it doesn't really amount to much. Oh, this could be bad too. There's the ball. Not that deep oh, a kick, though. Yeah, actually, it's. Fortunate That's that Jim, Jim's yeah. second runner is on the left-hand <laughs> side. <laughs> and in with the dub skulls. Wow. Jim's, Jim's bad luck continuing in this one. Yeah, that uh, if that had been a deeper kick, no, no one to get back to the ball would have really set Jim's fight in his own half. And you don't love that as dwarves. Jim mentioned comedy mega dicing earlier mm -hmm. you know um i'm starting to believe him <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if we're quite i don't know if we're quite there yet but obviously this has been one-sided like you know it's like we said at the outset of the game um with two great coaches playing a team like dwarves and playing the same team as dwarves there's very few things like unless one of them makes an egregious error which neither of them have done at this point then really all you can look at is the difference in their dice. And even if it's marginal, that could be enough to push one coach over the other uh, to get the win. So we'll see if Jim can recover here. But obviously down a reroll in overtime format, not where you want to be on, on the start of your uh, must must score drive.
yep, all the pressure on Jim right now. You know, even if PC had failed to score in his drive, um, he would have still had a shout. Uh, but right now, yeah, score or bust. And the way I, I bet Jim is, even Jim would be feeling it. You know, Jim um, obviously been a, you know, well known for keeping his head in difficult situations and not tilting off the planet, not destroying mouses. Um, you know, even Jim's going to be hard pressed <laughs> to keep his head right now. <laughs> Yeah, Volcaccio, all PC I don't know, needs I think to do. Uh, Volcaccio... He just needs to hold, doesn't he? He just needs to hold right now. So. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't need to. But the thing, again, you know, one of one of, one of of PC's dwarf mantras that he repeats often during his own streams is that you take the space given to you with dwarves. He's not going to give Jim any space. And sometimes you got to be up in their face a little bit to do that. And that will rattle Jim. If Jim is, you know, fighting just to get back, you know, halfway through this drive just to get the ball up, to the line of scrimmage he's gonna he's gonna really struggle um yeah. to close this one out and send it to overtime so jim's mighty blow has been expertly isolated by pc here so pc has taken jim's mighty blow right out of this turn um possibly yep. out of the equation for the next couple of turns because jim has got no choice really but to dodge him off at the end of the turn jim not even blitzing Maybe a 1D blitz at the end here. Yeah. You can 1D blitz now, can't you? But yeah, so that was a really good turn by PC. PC shut Jim down there. To be fair, Jim's, Jim's Jim saw the threat and he's thought, right, instead of doing anything silly, trying to manufacture blocks, I'm just going to reset this turn. And then, uh, unfortunately, two turns for dwarves is quite significant. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah, very clutch dodge there by the mighty blower to get out, get inside that next to some guard. Uh, yeah. That'll that'll let him blitz with him next turn. And now, yeah, PC's just going to chevron it here. What else does he have to do? You know. I just can't handle the excitement of dwarf on dwarf action. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, it should it should lead to at least two to three really exciting turns coming up, uh, right at the end of this game. <laughs> yeah, you know, turns fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen should be high stress, high impact. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's just going to be a bit of jockeying until that point. Yeah, you know, although and although it's a bit of a meme anyway, isn't it? Dwarf players and stuff. I, you know, they're as legit as any other team out there. If people choose to play dwarfs, that's absolutely fine. Um, I do wish in the new rule set they'd been nerfed a little bit. I think there was room for them to be, you know, but somebody high up, or, you know, maybe, maybe PC slipped, uh, slipped Games Workshop a few quid, you know, a little bit of a backhander, you know, a couple of PPE contracts. <laughs> <laughs> What does Jim do here? Does he just bring the fight in? I don't think so. Looks like he's going to, yeah, triple base with guard there, take a blitz, a mighty blow, bleh, mighty blow blitz somewhere and hope he can get a nice cheeky armor break. And keep maybe, that ball maybe, the, um, maybe the long beard just off center to the left. Yeah, he's just gonna he's just gonna hit this guy, hit this guy right in the center of the pitch. Yeah, yes, yeah, mighty yeah. blow. He would love an armor break here, but maybe just putting him on his ass at all. Well, he got the first half of that. So Jim doing the right thing there, the locking, locking him, locking him up um, between yep. two guards. So Jim's actually employing his inner PC there. So a big thank you to my wife, Wendy, who very expertly dealt with my two-year-old that was making way too much noise in my little streaming room, which doubles as the kids' playroom. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was also trying to think about that. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about with a guard change. So, yeah, same. so ba basically, um, 
P, uh, so PC locked Jim's players up with guard, and Jim essentially did the same thing, which forced the blitz. Um, so, and this is going to happen. You know, these two these two coaches really cancelled each other out at the best of times, and with identical dwarf teams, you know, right now the the dice have been that much more balanced than they were first half, and that's really bad news for Jim because unless the dice start to swing in Jim's favour. Um, then he just isn't getting through PC, is he? You know, um, so yeah, Jim needs the kind of turn that PC had around turn three, turn four, you know, where you remove yeah. two stuns that, and that will open things up. It, it does feel like the next stun could really open this game up. Yeah. <laughs> like the yeah. next dwarf that's armor does actually break might really open up a shot for one of these two coaches. Hello, Flicky. Flicky, how you doing? BG, how you doing? Let's go, champ. Dimmy's keeping a close eye on this final, angling for a position in next season, next season's BBSL, the hottest ticket in town. Is that what we're calling it? <laughs> I was about to say, everyone wants to be a part of this. A little scary here. Uh, not, not very, but a little scary. <laughs> yeah, no, this is fine. Everyone wants to be a part of the BBSL, except PC next season and Dianosian. Uh, and probably Mr. Page as well, although Mr. Page is going to cry and take his ball home, I expect. Wow. <laughs> so diplomatic. <laughs> I love Mr. Page. I love it. I love punching his dwarf team into oblivion with humans as well. Glorious. Fun times. <laughs> Uh, looks like another turn of not advancing the ball whatsoever for Jim. Yeah, this is. Do you know what's going on? This is more um, of those in him. Yeah, this is squeaky bum time now for Jim. Jim, turn 12. He would. Uh, yeah, he really would like to be on the LOS right now, but at least with this runner with some options. And this is why. So this is why he's actually basing here. He's. He realizes that he's got to try and start making something here. It's risky. He uh, he could get himself hit on the ball right now if he really wanted to. I don't think PC will. Oh well, there's a nice nice surprise leveling out the rerolls with a dub skull of his own. PC bad start to his turn. Makes up for it for a nice little armor break though. Uh, but PC is human. He can roll the odd one in a game of blood bowl. So, oh, screw him. Yeah, what's Jim doing in the chat? Little... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he can hear us. I assume he can't hear us, but uh, <laughs> he's distracted himself right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up, Chip. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is ideal for um, PC right now. Just, I, I, I'm a little bit surprised he didn't push players back there. Um, but I guess keeping that guy locked against a couple of guard players is yeah. good as well. PC not trying to play the ball. He, he did have an opportunity at it this turn. It's, it involved yeah. a red die. Red die to get that guard on it. But uh, probably, yeah, probably not worth opening up a shot for Jim to move anywhere. It's going to be real tough here. Jim might have to pick a sideline and just start running. Yeah, so PC PC has shown Jim a chink of light on the left-hand side here. Um, I think that's PC wants him to take that, you know, but given the fact that... Oh, so Jim refuses it. <laughs> He's going to the right. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't hate that. Yeah, I don't hate that. Going, going through the Troll Slayer, you know, um, I, yeah, PC was giving up the left, not giving it up by any stretch, but 
showing a chink on the left there. Um, he really wanted Jim to push to the left. So I, I quite like this from Jim here. This is rough. Very rough to advance the ball here. Yeah, Jim had to base that blitzer there. Um, you know, try and take that blitzer out with this turn. And here we go, folks. Coming up on Jim's turn 14, he's got to move forward pretty much exclusively from here to the rest of the game if he wants to play another half of Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Putting it that way. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know. I know what I said. <laughs> exactly, Duck. And now we'll see the chain back there. This is gonna be. Yeah. This is gonna be brutal for Jim. Yeah, this is rough now, isn't it? This is absolutely rough. So Jim needs to get at least a, a, a one square over the LOS, doesn't he? For a two-turn MA6 score. Without, obviously, without GFIs. Yeah. You know, but without GFIs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, neither of these coaches are too, too shy about their GFI. No. Now, this is a little interesting here. Jim could create a hole. Yes, he could. It's gonna involve. It's gonna involve some bad dice. Oh, that helps. That actually helps close yeah, it down so a PCs, bit. Yeah, PCs. Yeah, PCs closed yeah, closed the gap there. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought he only had long beards over on the on the left there still. Yeah. I still think I. So Jim's got no choice but to push down the right here. He can deal with the troll slayer and the blitzer, and then blitz the long beard, and hard push down the right hand side you know so i i don't really like the yeah. fact that pc has opened up uh, don't get me wrong it's a slim channel oh. and jim opens it up with a well, gfi a of course. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah no no i'm with you i'm with you because if, if jim can stabilize it all on this right side the uh you know four four of PC's players are out of the game. You know, there's yeah. four Longbeards in the center, whereas it's only two of Jim's players, really, that are out of the game. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see what Jim says it's about certainly... uh, sorry, what PC says about that, because I think that's a tactical error, and I think that's brought on primarily by the one turn, uh, sorry, the one minute format. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. So that's a really nice armor break. Oh! That, oh my god, Jim. Oh, yeah, I might as well come back to the booth now. This is fucking Holy over, isn't it? What a load of shite. Well, I mean, uh, the good thing is that at wow. least it was a dicing, so that, like, you know, I haven't just humiliated myself by playing terrible. But fucking hell, what a load of shite. The one time I wanted a push, I couldn't get it because I was going to surf that guy. <laughs> and all the other fucking. Oh, god. We Rock. just said there that. That's why Jim... I was disappointed. Sorry, sorry, Skr. No, go ahead, go ahead. I, I just said, Jim, that PC, I think he made a tactical error that turn. He did give you a channel down the right, albeit a difficult ask, um, but he did give you that option. Unfortunately, your dice were running through the form they have this whole game and were an absolute bag of shit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, that's probably one of the only errors PC's done. Of course, it's easy not to make errors when you're rolling fives and sixes all the time, isn't it? <laughs> you know. <laughs> is there anything? Is there anything worse than a top tier coach rolling top tier dice? You know, it's it's just so unfair, isn't it? <laughs> I, to be honest, I, I don't hear that much because obviously they could have won without rolling those dice anyway. Um, the only thing I don't like is when I do something terrible. Um, so you know, at least I haven't done anything terrible this game. <laughs> yeah, because you literally haven't yeah, been able really to do anything. You yeah, haven't done anything, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been able to do anything. That's why I've managed to not do anything terrible, yeah. 
Mm. I think I think it was a critical error not trying the one turn because you knew all you were going to roll was pushes. So <laughs> at least you had that guarantee. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <sighs> Damn me. So PC's rectified his previous error here. Um, he's absolutely closed this down now. Well, or has yet. The potato, the potato. Get out of the booth, Jim, yeah, for God's sake. Yeah, right. <laughs> How can we talk about the game with you in it? Get out. Be gone. Is he gone, screw? <laughs> there is a potato that is very much on here. It's going to yes, take there is. Some, some miraculous dice, but we did watch Jim... Uh, who was that shitter that he just snatched the ball out of uh, out of the air on in like three scatters to seal the win? Oh, that was you, Calcium. Yeah, soon, so we know Jim does does does, <laughs> does have some dirty wins up his sleeve. Yeah. Could be this. Could this be the moment for him? Okay, so that's the first thing he needed to do. Was obviously a power would have been a lot better there, but a push is okay. I think this is going to come down to a four plus three plus, isn't it? Uh, maybe not. Oh, he just needs to push here. It's just the three plus. Oh yeah, so it is. Yeah, it's a three. Yeah, yeah. So there's a three plus three plus effectively, and he got the first of them. Can he make the dodge? He's just stacking. No, he can't make the dodge. Here comes the reroll. Now snakes it. And that Jesus is H. Be GG. Christ, honestly. Right now it's done. <laughs> had, a chance. Yeah, had a chance though. Yeah, had, a, a, had a sliver of a chance there. Yeah, that was a Vegas chance. Yeah. And PC could just end turn. <laughs> end this game. Yeah. Yeah. G. G. Oh, he single G'd you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, some PC being nice there, just masses of luck all the key times. Silly to leave that so easy and it failed. Not your night. It certainly wasn't my night, was it? Um, and, you know, maybe... Like, I don't know, it, it wasn't... What? It wasn't that easy, was it? But, I mean, there was a chance to, to score at the end. I think the key time he's referring to is, um, what... 6 p.m. UTC. <laughs> 7 p.m. UTC. <laughs> Every single two dice block in the entire game. <laughs> I literally was a key two dice block. I went for two serves, and they were two of the very few times I rolled a pow. <laughs> Amazing. Think to shit is a good enough descriptor for your block dice this game. You know, I I I, I feel that I'm not doing. You know, I'm not doing it justice by describing them as such. Um, was it, you know, I think you had, what, three pals the entire half, last half? <laughs> <It was just, laughs> I definitely rolled less, but I'm not, I, I got pals at the end, didn't I, at the end, on the LOS. But yeah, taking out that LOS, it was, it was like I got less pals than he got armor breaks. <laughs> well, when, when think about it this way, Jim. Think about it. Think about it this way, Jim. It's good for the BBSL's health as a league that's growing after its first season. You never want to see the guy whose idea it was to crown a uh, a uh, competition of the best of the best uh, then win his own tournament. Uh, well, I, I wanted to see it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, you did, sure. But you know what? I think it'll be just fine uh, as things move forward. And uh, I think PC just uh, time griefing you here now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was brutal, wasn't it? It was really brutal. Um, yeah, the LOS was just to mess up the stats, and even the LOS took like a million pushes to get the knockdowns, didn't it? Somehow, it only made three less AV breaks than in the course of the match. Isn't that wild? Oh, because again, I made the, I made two stuns on the LOS, right? Only got blocked by four. That's mad, considering I had to give up the uh, <laughs> give up a couple of turns due to a pitch invasion. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, I guess I got more blocks because my Troll Slayer was rolling pushes. Wasn't it? That was that was why I got more blocks in, basically. Dodges three out of oh, seven. Oh, hello, Purple Chest. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, PC. Congrats. Well, winner, winner, just after dinner. Um, look, what's to be said? I mean, it was just ridiculous. I had 
I thought slightly the better dice in the first half. <laughs> and like... massive, massively the better dice in the second half. So plan A worked. Be luckier than the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what it was I... going to boil down to, wasn't it? You know, um, two top tier coaches um, playing, you know, very experienced with the teams they were playing. Identical teams as well. You know, yeah, um, odd, odd coincidence that. Um, <laughs> it's nice, nice little build this for this sort of size of tournament. Um, I mean, I, I do think the first half I was slightly on top dice wise. I don't think it was huge. I, I think I maneuvered it reasonably well, but that's because it started so well with the removal, and that always puts you on top. Well, what happened around turn four was you had a removal and two stuns, which yeah. absolutely destroyed Jim's defense. It did. And then, and then you were able, you know, and like the coach you are, you were able to exploit that and and shut the half down. Um, yeah, yeah. Your, exactly. your dice, were, your, yeah, your dice went great. Up. Yeah, I pushed up one side. Jim had to cover it. He did cover it really well. Yeah. But of course, he gave me the space to push back into the center. And from there, unless he had a dream turn and he didn't, then it was always looking like he was outmaneuvered. And he was. So he did what he should have done, which is tried to get you know the removal back and at least make me move, use the outbow. Yeah. It didn't work. But yeah, you, you were right. Um, yeah, your dice weren't great. Your dice were good, okay. Yeah, they were I decent. Have... Jim's I, I were trash. I was on top. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> His block dice were trash from turn yep. one to turn 16. And yep. You know, I've, I've, he pretty much failed. You know that. Um, yeah, he did. So it was I, all bad for him. Yeah. yeah, I just want to talk about turn fourteen PC. Um, okay. Obviously, um, Jim had no choice. I, you gave him the left. You gave him a chink of light on the left hand side. I did. Um, and you know, and I said to Skuro, PC really wants Jim to take that. So Jim yeah. actually did the opposite and took the right hand side through the Troll Slayer and Blitzer. Um, now I thought on turn fourteen. You gave him a channel down the right. No, don't get me wrong, Jim's dice weren't equal to the task. But <clears throat> did you consider that an error, or is that something that you were planning on? Because I, I, I'll be honest with you, um, you, you played solid as ever, you know, solid as a rock. But I thought that was probably one of the few errors you made in that game. Um, I don't remember. I'm quite high. Um, <laughs> So there's that. Uh, I do often. Uh, so I'm just going to have to talk in general because I don't remember specifically. Man after it, my it, own all, heart. It all happens in one minute, and that's quite intense. And a couple yeah. of turns, I did run out of time, um, but only slightly. But I did. Um, I don't, in general, mind showing a bit of leg if I think it's going to make the other guy either make you know multiple go for it or take not ideal blocks or have to reposition his team in places that leaves you know a fair chunk of it behind that might allow me to overpower it. So there was a couple of times I did put up a slightly weaker screen trying to channel where Jimmy went, but mostly he went where he wanted to and where I was actually weak rather than where I was pretending to be weak. Um, and he got really unlucky. I mean, the push down the his right flank right at the very end, uh, I thought I had mastered, but the, uh, the one die and dodge off was a really, really good move in that situation. And you know, he deserved better off. It was a one in nine fail, obviously. He only needed the push and then the one in nine. Um, so it wasn't, you know, he didn't need the pow. Um, so getting the stun was bonus territory, but it was fine if he got away. I, I don't think I could get anything to stop him. I think I could get contact, but no more than that. So it was a really, really good move in the position I'd had him in. Um, and I should have spotted it coming. So no, it was, it, was a, it was a good game, but decided by the dice rather than by particular coaching. I didn't think I did anything particularly brilliant. I just held on while my dice were a lot better. Mm. Existed. Took a leaf out of Gadea next book. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if that's working, why try harder? <laughs> so yeah, plan A is, I'm, I've, I've never been kidding about it. People think I'm joking. Plan A is be luckier than the other guy. If that mm. doesn't work, try and think up something that compensates for it. But it's much easier if you don't have to. Yeah. And today I didn't have to. Sorry, Jim. Well, PC, you <laughs> won me 80,000 channel points, so I'm happy with the result. Well, you used to owe me for the time I, I couldn't believe that Elk Meme could beat you. That horrific little thing. <laughs> Person. Itch. Elk Meme, in my opinion, one of the best commentators in Blood Bowl. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out of a field of six, yeah, I say a lot certainly of in the top seven. Too. Yeah, in in the deep field of commentary that we have in Blood Bowl. <laughs> Go for the best amongst literally dozens of Blood Bowl players. Blood Bowl. Yeah, oh, I can't do it as well as Fred. Um, well, look, that was a game. It happened. That's season one yeah. done. Um, it's a shame I'm not in season two, but I'm just massively overcommitted. The wife's starting to moan about the number of times I'm saying, oh, I've got a game, Churchill. <laughs> so I'm going to try and shed some of the others and then maybe come back for season three. Um, yeah, speaking for all the mid-tier coaches, 
speaking for all the mid-tier coaches in the BBSL, we're all gutted that you're not in season two with Dwarves, so we're devastated. <laughs> well, Calcium, I, I watched back the VOD of you playing me, and it, it seems you felt you were all over me and had the easy win, so surely it is something you will miss. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I, you know, I'm full of shit when I play. I, 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 know, about that. I, I hold nothing against you. <laughs> it's funny because that's, how, you, that's, how, game, that's how you play too, in my experience. Honestly, you, you try and bring a little interesting frisson into the room, and Calcium just laughs it off and goes, "Yeah, whatever. I said that. That's fine." <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what I love about you. Yeah. There's no bullshit to you. Yeah, I'm a knob. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it was fun. We're all talking about a season two of, games, of BBSL. When Jim didn't win yeah, this one, much. there won't be one. There is, a, there is a second season of BBSL. So far, of course, PC has said no. Dio has said no. Um, so we've got two confirmed. Oh, Narian said no. So we've got three people confirmed dropping. Um, I will be, you know, everyone else, everyone's been invited who was invited the first time. Um, and obviously, you're going to have to invite a few more. We are going to just have 12, two groups of six. So it's only five matches. Which will right. make it a bit quicker and a bit like you know because obviously people lost interest towards the end like that's always going to happen isn't it once people can't yeah. can't qualify so it makes it a bit snappy over the only five games. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Milkman up there, absolutely glorious. BBSL super fun to watch, Jim. Thanks. I just done BBSL thank season two, much. the dregs. Ah, oh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, yes. <laughs> Okay, okay, carry on, Carl just soon. they know to be fair. No, I just want to say thank you, Jim, for the BBSL. It's been great fun. Um, you know, I think yeah, I, I think uh, a six a six man division will probably be a little bit more streamlined. Uh, I look forward to you know the top tier coaches that are going to be joining next season. Um, so yeah, sh yeah, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next one. It'll be good fun. Glorious. Well, thank someone you. will um, someone will have to rise up in order for me to try and cut them down in season three. Yes, yeah, and obviously massive congratulations yeah. to PC. Yeah, let me tell you, word. being a two-time winner. <laughs> so being a two-time winner is always the best place to right? be. <laughs> oh, God. Too afraid. Too afraid. Anyway. Jim doesn't want to compete in leagues with me. He just drops out of them after a game. <laughs> right, that's true, actually. Yeah, both times. But anyway, right, uh, let's wrap it up. Congrats, PC. Commiserations Thanks, Jim. to me. Thanks for the game. Commiserations <laughs> to you. <laughs> <laughs> Full on dicing. Yeah, it was, but at least at least it's easy. I've got not nothing to regret. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>